What's up, friends? What up? Guys, I have a restoration that's happening right now. It's a 730 Willard. And I'm, I'm doing that restoration as we speak. I'm going to take this video back to the shop. I'm going to show you guys what those tubes look like. Okay? And I also want to show you guys how you would need to measure it. Say you wanted to retube the same type of uh, 730 Willard, which there's a ton of them out there. They're old military boats that uh, have hit the market and people will actually like to pick them up and restore them. So I'm going to show you the dimensions that we would need. So I'll show you exactly what templates we have available. And then you can say, hey, this is template A, template B, whatever. But I'm taking you back to the shop now. Let's look at that video. And keep in mind, this actual restoration, I'm filming it. So you're going to see a nice retube of a 730 Willard. So if you haven't seen that, stay tuned. I'll put the link up here at some point. Or if you haven't seen the 730 Willard that I picked up in Virginia, you should check out that video. It's a pretty crazy story. So check that out. Let's go back to the shop. Boom. All right, guys, it's it's Willard Week here at the shop, and uh, we're pulling out all the wing tubes because we're going to be doing some restorations. You guys, you guys will see that. But in the spirit of looking forward, because I know once you guys see this retube that we do of this Willard here, um, which is. This is also a Willard tube, but they're a little different. And I, I want to show you the differences so that at the day of tomorrow, once you see that restoration for the retube for this, this actual tube, so stay tuned for that, you're going to see what we're going to need for you to measure because at some point you guys might be interested in doing a retube. I'm here with Eber, and uh, we're going to start taking this apart for the other video. But I want to show you guys exactly what you would need to measure to see which template we would have for your boat. Okay, Evan, empieza ahí. All right, so if you look at the bow here, all right, so you see from the middle of the seam, that's where it's actually, so you're talking about four inches. And the reason I'm doing this is because the, there's, there's differences between this Willard tube and the other one. All right, so right here from, from the front seam over here, if you see that here, then, and that's exactly 17 inches. Okay. okay. So, from the bow to that first was 17 inches, right? Now, if you look over here, all right, so you have, look where we're measuring from, guys, from the center of the seam. So here is 35 inches, okay? So you see that, 35 inches? All right, let me give you a perspective where he's showing from a little bit further distance so you guys can see that. All right, so now on the point of the bow, here is another. See, what's going to happen is we're going to have this template here. And with these measurements, once you measure, you guys can go ahead and see. Okay, so from the bow, we're talking about 28 inches, okay? Now, we're gonna show you another Willard tube that has similarities, but they're different, okay? Vamos a coger la parte de atrás, de costado afuera, de esto. We can also get, let's, let's show you guys from the outside seam. Vamos a hacer desde aquí afuera para que vean aquí. So. Sí, por lo menos hasta, hasta allí puede hacerlo porque eh, es la parte que hace más el ángulo. Okay. Ya lo eso no le afecto. No, no, no. Okay, this, this is the angles that we're trying to make sure that we get. So, all right, so if you look here, all right, from the center of the seam, to the first seam, right? You see that seam right there and where his hand is? We're talking about 32 inches, okay? So 32 inches. And now the second seam, 
okay we're also talking about about 40 inches okay so and then the last one for this style of withered okay we're talking about 48 inches more or less okay so with those measurements we can see if you have we'll call this one I have an a Willard A uh, style tube okay and now this is the older style Willard and we're gonna measure this so you guys can see what the measurements on this one is so all right so let's start off in the bow at the point okay so now this one has 29 inches at the bow all right from seam to seam and uh, we're gonna go now you, if you're gonna see you're gonna see a little bit of, of a difference compared to the other one all right so what do we have here that's uh, 37 okay so there's already a considerable difference on this style of tube it's longer now the second seam to the other seam okay see where we're measuring from and this is approximately 38 inches okay now let's do the last one and then we'll do the inside seam so you guys can see you know and we'll call this one okay so this one is approximately 45 so approximately 45 inches now let's look at the inside bow the inside bow is about uh, about four and a half inches more or less all right and now let's look at the seam inside the seam inside of this Willard is 22 inches and a half more or less or maybe 22 inches okay so now thirty three okay thirty three okay so this one is thirty three inches and then the final one oh, yeah this is this is just guys these are just we need these because these are the ones that are that are curved everything else is straight going towards the back so this one here is 40 one and a half inches more or less okay so there you have it and now this tube is a little longer than the other tube here okay so you measure your tube vamos medir desde la punta allá para acá tráeme acá Dame la punta aquí, pa. All right. Es el total. Total. All right. So now, here's what I want to do. All right. So, so you guys see the difference. All right. So th remember, we're calling this in, for the purpose of this video, uh, B. Okay. So, look where the cone is, guys. So it's about 23 and a half. Let me show you to where. Quédate ahí. Let me show you where I want you guys to measure from. All right. All right. So you see where he's measuring from? That's how we want you to measure it. Now, let's go to to Bay. Vamos para el otro un momentico. Vete para la punta de ese, Evan, por favor. All right. So this is what we're considering tube A for Willard. All right. And No, 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 no. Okay. So you see here it's about 20 uh, almost 24 uh, feet is right here so it's about 23 and a half feet here okay and the same thing all right now they look like very similar tubes but they're different and uh, they'll fall differently all right so there it is so if you do have a Willard and after you see the other restoration of the retube that we're gonna be doing off of this boat here which you should see and stick around for that. And if you haven't clicked on that video, I would suggest you click on it now. 
and you can see exactly what can be done. All right. Um, here, before I get out of here, I know some of you guys like Rendova stuff. I thought this was pretty cool. I hadn't seen this. Um, look at this. Pull it out. Boom. Rendova. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think? Hey, smash a like. Don't forget to like these videos, guys. This restoration is going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. It's going to be... Oh, is that the Sun Corrado back here? Hold on a second. You guys don't know about the Sun Corrado. You know what? You should stop everything. Forget about this retube video. Just watch this series of this engine.